and I am a ninja here now. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a really good gliding paper real quick. So, what you're going to want to have is a regular piece of printer paper. Just, I don't know the exact dimensions, but okay. So it's 8 and a half by 11. Here we go. So, what you're going to want to do is the, the shorter end, here's a 11 inches. So, you're going to take the 8 and a half inches and get this corner and make sure the 8 and a half inches aligns with the 11 inches like that. So, creates like this triangle with like an extra thing at the bottom. So this is what you do if you're gonna like cut it and if you're gonna cut a rectangle piece of paper into a square. And then it'll have like a line going down, you know, down to there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and the side of the crease, you're gonna wanna do the same thing and line it up with the other crease right here. And then just like make it crease it really well. And what you wanna do is unfold it and flip it over and fold make this edge aligns with this um, crease right here so it like matches like that and fold that and then what you want to do is get back out it's like kind of so put your like finger the on crease it, like is forming an X so then, then there's a line through it and what you're going to do is push down on it like that and it'll just kind of create this thing like this and you want to bring it down like that and then you're going to want to squash it and just crease it out just crease it out and then what you want to do is take so there's like flaps one on here but there's not one on the back it's like these little flaps here and so what you're going to do is uh, make sure this aligns there's like imaginary line right here there's like a fold right there if you kind of see it and what you want to do is make sure that fold ends the line like that and it creates like this I don't know it's weird like triangle shape and then do the same thing with the other side is take this and kind of fold it and make sure the corner end right there and just crease it really so when well. you fold it you want to have about right here from the edge paper you want to have about like a, it's an, an inch right there and then what you want to do is take it fold it in half so like don't Fold it like this, hold it like this, and make sure these two align so you can just adjust it. Like mine are really off, but just adjust it, and then once you're done adjusting, just like straight make these creases really fine with your thumbnail. I don't know if I see my thumbnail like that. And then what you're gonna want to do is make sure that this and this, like I mean, this part aligns with this right here so like that like that again same with the other side make sure that this whole part right here is aligned with this end like like that and then what you're gonna do is make sure you align the back and right. unfold it, and it'll have these like little like weird things. I like call those guns now. We're gonna test it. Hold so, on. There you go. All right. Probably won't be a very good test since our room is only like 15 yeah, feet. Yeah, but it's like. Long. It Chris, turn off that light. Really well. Here. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of how this looks. Oh, crap. Here, I got it. No, I got it. And here, I'll do it again because I was really bad here. And one more time. Oh, that one went straight down. That one was straight again. So I feel like a little hard. No, whoa. I guess you don't have to throw it hard. You have to throw it lightly, okay? Lightly, and then it'll just go out. <laughs> but it failed, so. Well, now I'm an ninja here. And thanks for watching. Wait, one second. One second. Here. Here, I'll show you a better one. This is a, <laughs> this was our first one, but this is a better one. You ready? This one actually glides. That kind of goes up in your arm. I am. I am a ninja. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, comment, and subscribe.